Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today is just a quick video to talk about this HD0 and specifically setting HD0 up with Betaflight. Whilst in the past it wasn't particularly difficult in the sense of you had to choose a UART, connect the serial port up and then configure the UART to allow you to actually have MSP display port via the CLI command, configure the correct UART for that by putting in another CLI command with a minus one and then putting in a new configuration for the VTX tables. Whilst it was fairly straightforward, it wasn't exactly plug and play. However, there is some good news on this, and that is with the new configurator release and the new versions of Betaflight, you can now choose a preset and get HD0 set up in just a few clicks. What we'll do is hop over to the desktop and just show you how quick and easy this is. Now, the first thing you will need is the latest version of the Betaflight configurator to use this, which is the version 10.8. 0.0 at the time of me making this video. That is the full latest release of the configurator. This configuration option also does work with Betaflight 4.2 and 4.3, but I would advise you move up to 4.3 if you haven't done so already, or at least if you're on one of the beta versions, you want to make sure you now upgrade to the official release. Now the configuration for this is really super simple. You need to connect obviously your VTX to your flight controller, open up the configurator and go down to the new presets option over here. If you scroll down, you will find that there is a preset option for HD0 VTX. This allows you to configure the options needed. It will automatically configure the VTX tables and allow you to select the correct options for that MSP DisplayPort OSD as well. Now it's worth mentioning that there is a different configuration depending on what board you choose. For instance, if I take the drop down, you can see that you have the option for all VTXs except the Unlocked Freestyle and TX5M.1. You have the Unlocked Freestyle and then you have the TX5M.1. The reason for this is there is slight differences between the VTXs in regards to the firmware and the functionality as well. So you need to choose the correct option for your specific model. So for this, we're going to choose this VTX because I'm going to do this on what would be the Race V2. We then select the UART port that we've got it connected to. So on this one, it would be a UART 3. And we already have this little option ticked at the bottom, which is map to display port, which will configure Betaflight to output that OSP via MSP display port for you. Once you've selected the correct options, you simply click pick click agree and then save and reboot and that will then send the configuration to your flight controller and your OSD, your VTX tables and everything should just work. So everything now should be up and running and working. You would still need to configure your smart audio if you are using that functionality as well. Again, making sure that you've done that within Betaflight. Now, if you've done this and your OSD is not working, the first thing you should check is that you have your TX and RX lines the right way round. TX on your flight controller to RX on the VTX and TX on the VTX to RX on the flight controller. And if that still doesn't work, I would suggest trying another UART. HD0 should work on any UART as long as it's not soft serial, but we do have reports of people having issues for no real good reason on specific ports and then swapping to another port suddenly makes it work. But remember, if you do do that, you will need to reconfigure those options in Betaflight as well. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. If you found this video interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. I want to say a massive thank you to the guys who've put this preset together. I've put his name up on screen now. Also, a massive thank you to all of the devs of Betaflight as well. If you do like the new software from them, please do consider supporting the Betaflight devs via the support links that are available on the Betaflight page as well. Finally, if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content like this, please do check out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. It's only by you guys supporting the links I'm able to keep making content moving forward. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Please do let me know what you think about this in the comments section too, and I will speak to you soon.